speakers to present a very interesting project, which is entitled STALO, uh, Sustainable. And the participants of our briefings today are going to tell you about the Ukraine enterprise and the world principles of sustainable development. Is there any chance for them, uh, let's say, to um, combine their efforts? I would like to invite uh, the participants of our briefing here to the stage. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, we have gathered here in order to tell you, well, myself and our team, to tell you about about the uh, large-scale projects which we are going to launch today. We entitled it Stalo, Sustainable. And uh, in a few words, the, the essence of this project, well, it's meant for the entrepreneurship and the sustainable development. Uh, this project is being organized, uh, it's kind of partnership, this civil society communication uh, let's say the, the uh, communication uh, hub and the, um, the UNDP. So again, what this project is all about, we try to find some graphic examples or the models of business which uh, behaves in such a way that not only they can do something about business that they are not only after some profits, but also are very friendly in, uh, towards the ecology and do everything possible in order to ensure that the quality of life of different societies is involved or has something to do with, um, uh, can improve. Natural, despite the fact that uh, the concept itself of uh, the sustainable development has been in existence in Ukraine for several decades now, in Ukraine it is really, some people find it's very difficult to understand the, the, uh, the sense and essence of that. Me, myself, as the editor of the Sustainable, Sustainable Development blog, I uh, very often encounter the situation when the real entrepreneurs, well, I mean, in order to explain to them what this Sustainable Development means, we have to find somehow the simple elementary comparisons or metaphors. I don't know. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll tell you what I managed to, uh, to, 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 to reveal. Maybe some of the, my colleagues will criticize me for that, but this really works. You just take a three-leg chair and call one leg economy, another uh, ecology, and the third socium. If we break one leg of that uh, uh, stool or chair, we will we, we'll lose the balance. So this is a very primitive and simple metaphor of sustainability or the balance, but the sustainability uh, means um, uh, the, the conducting business in a very harmonious way, some kind of a business which, uh, I, I mean, takes some uh, benefits for, for itself as a business and makes something good for the uh, nature, for the ecology. Um, we are going to announce the uh, contents, Stalo is sustainable, in order to find the optimum decisions or resolutions of this um, the problem. Something which has been already realized can be realized, something we can touch and maybe uh, share this experience. This is not just the fantasy of kind, some kind of startup. This also is very good, but we are talking about the Stalo, sustainable, you know. But the, uh, our objective is not uh, limited to find something, to award this, you know, and then to demonstrate that the business or conducting business under such very difficult conditions available today in Ukraine. But again, we are talking about sustainable development, that the society supports that and do you understand that this is just one of the objectives. But the major objective is to spread or disseminate those decisions, those stories, or to tell people what is this, what uh, sustainable development means to, um, uh, to, to, uh, to, to, to the maximum possible number of the entrepreneurs. And we would like to do that by involving the society per se 
и to this uh, subject matter. So uh, we, if you know as a partner about such entrepreneurs, maybe in your business associations you have such companies, or you as a consumer make use of the services of the commodities and goods of such companies, please tell us about that so that we could find not only the entrepreneurs of the companies uh, who have a sufficient budget for the PR, but also those who work in the small towns or villages who cannot allow themselves the luxury of the PR campaign or the advertisement because they have not real big budget. They, this contest has been announced and the bids are tender and the bids we are going to receive till the end of June and I, we do hope that we are going to surprise our society by the fact that we will be able to prove that in Ukraine, despite the fact what uh, the situation available today in this country, that there are a lot of difficulties to conduct business in this country today, people start the business not only for the sake of money or uh, making money and, you know, not only we are talking of fantasize on this topic, we know that such businesses uh, do exist and they, this is proven by big time projects are made in Ukraine. Several years ago, nobody could even think that we'll be able to find um, hundreds of companies with the commodities which we could speak to, you know. So I mentioned already that this project is being supported by the UNDP, UN Development Program, and I would like to invite here Elena Yovchinikova, and uh, was Elena Bliskich, uh, who also is uh, supporting this project on the Media Hub, so please, Try to remember this person, you have to communicate with her in the future. So the floor is given to the next speaker. Thank you, um, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues and partners. My name is Elena Ovchinikova, I'm the head of the UNDP program, which supports the Sestala project for the sustainable development of small and medium-sized businesses. Uh, the classical uh, definition of the uh, sustainable development means that this is a development which will allow us to meet the requirements and demands of this, uh, of this generation without being detrimental to the generations to come. So this is a development which promotes the economic growth and ensures the social equality and ecological safety. Uh, in other words, this is development which actually takes care of the social, economic and ecological problems as uh, something uh, integral. You know, uh, why we support this uh, contest today? The year 2015 is the year when the world is a stretch, uh, threshold of the uh, values which were uh, adopted in 2000 and open a new page of the um, uh, goals of the sustainable development which is going to be adopted by the United Nations development program in September this year in Ukraine will be among those countries who are going to be uh, to join this uh, program of sustainable development after the year 2015. The previous 15 years of implementation of the objectives of the millennium, their implementation allowed the world to decrease the absolute poverty almost by 50%. Almost by 50% we decrease the number of the people who do not have an access to the potable water. Uh, many children, uh, uh, more people uh, have no access to the primary, um, you know, let's say, education, etc. So the, the, we, we made a very tangible progress over the last 15 years. And the new goals which are going to be adopted very soon, they will be more, much more ambitious and more comprehensive and will allow to do something in three aspects, economic, social and ecological ones. Of course, the implementation of such ambitious program requires joint efforts on the part of the governments and the civil um, uh, civil uh, society and the mass media, etc., all the national and international partners. And these, they are going to be associated with the low, medium and high uh, level development. It will require the actions on the global, national and local uh, levels 
in parallel to all the global processes which will take place in order to um, I told you something about the assembly development. This kind of program within the the well mentioned program. Well, we are going to give the assistance to Ukraine to switch over to this sustainable development, including the including the search when looking for some um, some something which would meet the requirements of the, the um, uh, sustainable development. At the end of last year, we announced the context in order, in order to find the uh, uh, novel Ukrainian decisions among the, some individuals, um, the societies, etc. oriented in order to improve the quality of life for everybody, but no, would not increase the use of the natural, um, uh, uh, let's say, mineral uh, resources and uh, to, uh, to educate the people more responsibility to the uh, nature. So if we, are, if we are talking about the UA Economic uh, Communication Hub, they, they became one of the winners of the UDP program. We received over 60 different applications from different public organizations with their proposals how to do this kind of transfer to the um, sustainable development and sustainable existence, so to say. We are talking about the small and medium-sized businesses, which are the, the, the foundation of the existence of any society. People rely upon the private sector in order to find jobs and the means to subsistence. And in Ukraine, the small and medium businesses, uh, their shares more about 90% of all the enterprises the world over and the 90% the of all the jobs for the population in the world over. That's why we're interested that the decisions uh, in Ukraine be uh, not only found but also disseminated. And that's why UDP, uh, UNDP program uh, support this project STALA in Ukraine in order to find the, the solutions or decisions which would be economically viable. Uh, socially responsible and friendly to environment, which we could be easily disseminated or spread all over Ukraine, which even today can promote to what we call sustainable development. We are positive that Ukraine are very uh, good examples of this um, sustainable development, which will become the models to follow for the local businessmen, entrepreneurs, and also for the foreign uh, colleagues. So we'll be looking forward to receiving more applications for these um, uh, contents and applicants. I would like to give the floor to uh, Eugen Hlobistin. Uh, Eugenie will say exactly how this institute here presents uh, is called. He is a doctor um, of economic sciences and he agreed to be a member of our team and to become an expert of our team. While uh, evaluating the uh, bids, Applications. I would like him to focus more on such a, a simple um, uh, issue. Why business needs this kind of sustainable development? What, what is the rational rationale of this project? Isn't that uh, well? I, I mean, how much important it is uh, today under the available situation, uh, and what risks they are going to face? So, once again, please introduce yourself. My name. Uh, is Evgen Klobistin uh, is different. My name is Evgen Klobistov, not Klobistin. I present here the Institute of um, uh, Economy of the National Academy of Science of Ukraine, uh, Environmental Economics and Sustainable Development Institute. It would be interesting to speak about the project which makes provision for an introduction of the knowledge of the sustainable development in the sphere of the small and medium-sized businesses. We are talking a lot today how a sustainable development must look like. Today in Ukraine we have a strategy of sustainable development 2020 which has been approved at the top level of our country but on the other hand for the foundation of the small and medium businesses now, we have to ask the question, what this uh, sustainable development means to them? Is there maybe some ideal idea uh, which will help us to understand where to move uh, towards later? We try to explain to the small, medium-sized business representatives that this is, first of all, economically 
uh, let's say uh, beneficial because we have to put the um, to, to return attention to some things like that business has been implemented in, in the specific country under specific economic conditions in order for the business to have consumers who are going to provide the resource for the for the development of business this business must be socially responsible it must be balanced on based on the major criteria of sustainability with economic uh, ben, ben, ben benefit and ecological friendliness how to combine that in one business represents of the small and medium size uh, business they have realistically sustainable technologies they do not just understand that this is this is sustainable technology they have at their hands and in uh, in thus our goal uh, we, we are we are targeting on these those two businesses to further spread their experience and to show that there are good uh, good um, uh, cases which can be used as models and support not only by the country but also by the public uh, movement at large and in, include the international organizations you have a very good example of such kind of a sustainable responsible ecologically balanced entrepreneurship then this model this example could be become a foundation uh, for the uh, society or the branch of economy to be developed uh, based on uh, absolutely different foundation towards the um, uh, good prospects and um, balance in the last in the last thing which we really hope to achieve in this um, tender of all contents we really we, we we hope we'll have a lot of uh, businessmen entrepreneurs being involved because the entrepreneurs are the basis of the economy let's be realistic ukraine today is supported specifically only by the representatives of the small and the medium-sized businesses and the, those people who create our well-being today and those people mustn't uh, realize that if they are business and their work will be responsible ecologically friendly and safe economically beneficial then it has to meet with the sustainable um, support of the government and governmental agencies and public thank you who is going to speak who is the next to speak Uh, good afternoon, esteemed colleagues, esteemed journalists. My name is Irina Novak. I represent here the Institute of Demography and Social Research of the National Academy of Science of Ukraine. So I would like to speak about the social aspect, specifically of the concept of the sustainable development. We already hear here that this concept of sustainable development emerged, first of all, um, because the uh, humankind uh, start to put themselves the question regarding the uh, limited resources available here about the social justice regarding the uh, generations to come in fact men at the beginning of the 21st century becomes more valuable resource of society and it is men who is create such society so the multitude of people create the, the society which becomes a platform for implementation of the concept of sustainable development which includes social economic and ecological development components and uh, thus the, um, the the human activities is aimed at achieving uh, those components because the willingness of this concept uh, is because we can separately consider all those components the synergy will give rise to those uh, things which will be beneficial to men individuals society and the countries and the social aspect in business and solutions or decisions uh, of course this is a very complicated task for business but at the same time it's a very simple task because this is not something you know kind of, um, let's say, uh, benevolent work or whatever else. Uh, this is the sphere where the business, uh, taking care of social-oriented um, business, they can derive some profit for themselves as well, because what is closely associated with the concept of sustainable development is the social responsibility of the business. 
before society. It allows them to be responsible in relation to the produce they manufacture and the stakeholders and the society as a whole from the point of view of the um, environment in which this business exists. And thus, uh, let's say, uh, paying attention to their own products and goods, business ensures their interaction with their agents, first of all, with the suppliers, with the consumers, with those on who, who depends the, the, the special capital of business. So taking care of their own goods, their safety, and the meeting the standards, some ecological components of this, those products, they will be well, uh, say, valuable to society and how they meet the requirements and needs of the society, what signals are sent by society, what people need uh, being consumers. So this social and reputation capital can be increased when every link of this chain, I mean in the production, or the agents meet the standards of social responsibility, and let's put it this way, um, they uh, provide, or let's say the social re reporting of the company, this kind of reporting which has to meet the international standards, the things which are recognized the world over. In this way, the society stimulates the business to be the social responsible. The second component of what is pertains to the stakeholders. First of all, we're not talking only about the suppliers, the consumers, or the agents, counter agents, and the local communities, which is very important. And here we're talking about the ecological aspect here, and also the personnel of the companies. Um, investing money into the human capital, into their employees, business uh, receives or obtains some preferences. I might put it this way, the bonuses, because um, when the business invests, for example, into the education of their employees or professional training or the labor safety, they actually decrease their expenditures on the uh, let's say rotation of the um, of the personnel and the uh, the level of injuries, and then when the people uh, become understand that they have a very valuable job, and then there is another um, aspect which which is called uh, competitiveness of business on the market of labor. When they offer the conditions to the people, they consider this is really a socially responsible company. They have social package uh, of services. They can ensure the uh, remuneration. Uh, I mean, the, uh, uh, the proper remuneration of business. The, the people actually select such companies. And the third aspect is the interaction with the local communities. This is also very important because uh, business functions in the society, in some communities, in some um, populated areas and territories. When the business takes care of the environment, of ecology, the people living and uh, residing in those territories, they perceive such a business as a friendly one. And business really avoids such risk, which we sometimes see when the people start to protest demand uh, closing of those enterprises uh, whose, let's say, um, uh, the enterprises which are detrimental to the environment and the ecology and the territories they live. So when the business introduced the social responsible projects or decisions, definitely this is beneficial to all the participants, uh, all the, uh, let's say, social agents, people, businesses, environment, and the uh, society as a whole. Thank you for your attention. Next speaker, maybe you, Irina. Uh, good afternoon, I'm Irina Rubitz, General Direction of the Economic Communication Hub, and the major platform of ours uh, where we are going to implement this project. Our company is, is, deals with entrepreneurship, it's sustainable development more than four years now. The in Gladky actually digs the topic about the sustainability. It, maybe she is one of those edge journalists who never give up and they, they hope that they are going to to cover all the segments of the uh, relation between society and the, the you know, business, etc. So, for us, this project of uh, UNDP 
became a special possibility, we're going, a possibility to, to combine both of the directions. We did have been doing a lot for entrepreneurs uh, in the fairs and the exhibitions in, the in Ukraine. And we tried to describe the most interesting representatives of the Ukrainian entrepreneurship. And here we have a possibility to narrow our focus and to find those enthusiastic people who uh, think not only about the uh, profits or PR, but to create some benefits which are not directly associated with money. That's why even today we are already we exert a lot of efforts in, uh, in order to popularize uh, this project. We are uh, we are sure that we'll find we'll be able to find very interesting heroes not only in Kiev but in the regions in the provinces, and we'll be able to uh, offer to your attention some kind of very educational stories, amazing story. Because even today we can see that some of entrepreneurs they do not realize that they are already sustainable. We show that to them, and they say we can call ourselves sustainable. And we hope that we are going to use all our media resources in order to popularize this topic of sustainability, to make it a um, uh, kind of brand. And, and those who think about the business, and they have to, to, to think about that their DNA uh, include the gene of sustainability. We are going to take the workshop for those who would like to diversify their activities become entrepreneur entrepreneurs and those entrepreneurs who are going to participate in this workshop or seminar we are going to talk about the topic of sustainability and our project thank you very much do we have questions i have a question too maybe Irina, because you're directly uh, involved in this platform so when we are talking about this social corporate responsibility of big business everything is understood what money they use um, uh, uh, speaking about the um, small or uh, medium size, or maybe even micro business, uh, can we say just in a simple way what kind of criteria must be met by a company? Maybe you can give some examples because this audience, you know, um, we do not have experts here uh, in the social world. So you have to give some examples to them. Uh, number one, two, and three. You have to meet this and the another and those criteria. So I'll, I appreciate you can sum up all this. You know, uh, in very simple words, you know, we uh, love to do something what we uh, really uh, believe in. When, 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 for example, when we are talking about our own uh, businesses, how it can be sustain sustainable. Sometimes, you know, we are not really very eco ecology orientated. You know. When we are talking, you know, just when we, we say that to the entrepreneurs, we say that, we tell them, not only you have to get the benefits, obtain benefits from society, you have to give something away. And this giving away could be different. It could be some energy efficiency associated or some kind of development of the development, I mean, or the community they, uh, they, they belong to. We cannot sponsor uh, all the, uh, let's say, development of all the um, uh, programs, but we uh, give the chance of the free education uh, to those people who cannot afford the luxury of being educated for money, you know. So this is part of our corporate social responsibility of ours, I mean. Somebody can increase the level of ecological friendliness of their businesses and the, the top echelon, and those who try to to, uh, to pay the so-called white salaries, not uh, the hidden salaries. So we understand that just at the beginning of the road, there are a lot of different criteria. The most important is to give something to the society you're part of, and not only to take something from that. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, we have to finish this briefing, but the information about the potential uh, bidders of this tender or the contest, you can take uh, this address um, which is given here, and please, uh, this is not simple um, topic. Uh, usually, they do not sit in the internet 